Hello viewers, today we're going to work on transplanting part of our um, rhubarb, or splitting it off as they say, and you can kind of turn it into two plants. Um, keep in mind anytime you split one of these guys, you typically don't want to harvest it that first year. Um, and it will have somewhat of an effect on the other one, but we're still very early in the spring here. And um, this one's just doing amazing, so we're going to take a, a chunk of it. I'm um, just using a standard garden spade here. The idea is you want to try and get in there and um, cut up a section of this this crown or the head of the plant, um, this is, or the heart of the plant, if that's a, a better word for it. And we're just going to try and take a piece of that off and move it over to our new location. So part of doing that, we're going to make our first cut up here on the top of the plant. We're going to try and separate those. And then we're going to turn the shovel around. We'll try and lift these leaves up and work from this angle to try and pull that piece out then. And then, if you're lucky enough to have two shovels, you can try and work on the other side. Let's we'll see if we can get this out here without trying to break too many leaves and keep this in as good of an intact position as possible. So, we'll just try and undermine a little bit underneath here. That's going to help get down to that root ball, that heart, and um, allow us to try and, so to speak, pinch get out of that area. So we're just going to keep kind of pulling soil out. Sorry, you can't really see too well with the uh, big leaves over the top. And they're fairly brittle, so if you do bend them the wrong way, they'll, they'll tend to want to snap on you. So, All right, now that we've got a little bit of movement here, I'm going to try and move both shovels. You can see we've cleaved the plant against this initial one. Just try and pull these out together. Set that one down. We've got our heart here. You can see kind of this, this greater root ball, a little bit of roots down here. We're going to do our best to try and save some of these leaves because they're going to be help it bounce back sooner rather than later. Bring it over to our new location. hopefully get it set here with some dirt and then um, it is raining today as you can see so the soil is nice and wet but if it wasn't raining you're gonna want to make sure this guy sees plenty of water for the next couple of days and uh, hopefully you'll have a nice another patch of rhubarb to use and it might be a good idea to even transplant earlier than this we're still in early May uh, so we thought we'd be fine but we had a quick warm-up so it'll be a little bit easier if you are transplanting with a smaller plant uh, but thanks for joining us and be sure to check back for more gardening videos.